Hey, hey, hey. Hi, how? Emily. Hi, Emily. How are you nice doing? Here is the uh, influencers in the wild. <laughs> That's right. The pizza making class, <laughs> Chef O experience. This is Michael O. He's a private chef from Atlanta, Georgia. You have no idea how happy I am. Since being let go from his corporate job during the pandemic, Michael has been pursuing his passion turned side hustle, cooking full time. Since then, he has more than doubled his income. The money's coming in. You know, I, 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 I can't complain. I'm actually enjoying what I'm doing. Michael has no formal culinary training. In fact, he's never even worked in a professional kitchen. But hospitality is as much about entertaining guests as it is preparing amazing cuisine. And it doesn't take long to see how his outgoing personality connects with his clients. <laughs> I enjoy meeting new people. I enjoy, you know, the satisfaction that they get from the food, you know, that I prepare for them and the experience that I bring to their home. Since going full time in 2020, Michael has been preparing about four parties per week. He also holds virtual cooking classes for big Silicon Valley corporations. We're at the final stretch. Prices vary depending on how many people and the type of cuisine they want, but usually range from $150 to $350 per person. Altogether, Michael is bringing in around $14,000 each month. I knew that I made it big when I realized that the amount of money that it took me years to save is equivalent to like what I'm making right now within two months. Michael grew up in Alpharetta, Georgia after his parents immigrated to the United States from South Korea. They want us to get into the best schools, get the best job, get married, have kids, the full nine yards. Unfortunately, I didn't live up to those expectations. He always had a passion for cooking, but his parents pushed him towards a more financially stable career. My parents didn't want me to become a chef. They wanted me to work in corporate America, do something that's very comfortable, something that's gonna pay the bills, the nine to five job, the benefits, the 401k. Michael was working as a recruiter up until 2020 while cooking on the side, but was laid off due to the pandemic. Instead of sulking, he decided to pursue his dream and start cooking full time. But first, he had to line up some clients. It was probably the most devastating news I've ever received in my life. You know, when after when you bought a house, you have all these plans, um, what you want to do in your career. It's, it's a weird cliche, you know, what they say is you make lemonades out of lemons, you know, it's a silver lining. And I feel like, you know what? <laughs> Why not do this right now? Let me give this a shot. I got my severance money. Let's go ahead, let's start my business, and let's thrive. So we are heading off to the Beaver Highways Farmer's Market. That's where I like to get my fresh produce. All right, you got some mozzarella cheese. Can't go wrong with that. The pandemic actually created a niche for Michael, since most people were staying home and only gathering in small groups. Restaurant dining rooms weren't open, so if they wanted a culinary experience, they had to happen inside of people's homes. Michael took full advantage. You know, a lot of trips, a lot of um, parties were canceled uh, due to the pandemic. And so they realized, you know what, we want to have an intimate experience. And that's how they were able to find me on Instagram. What's up, man? How are you? Doing good, man. I gotta go with some hanger steaks, man. Michael O has never worked one day in a professional kitchen or attended any type of formal culinary training. I'm 100% self-taught. But posting his culinary creations on Instagram created a massive audience for him. I always post all these pictures, I do all these travels, kind of living like Anthony Bourdain. And one day someone reached out to me, asking me if I could be a private chef for uh, his wife and her partners. And next thing you know it, I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing, but yeah, I'll do it right away. And so that was my very first gig that I ever done on the side. After the success of that first party in 2016, his cooking gigs took on a snowball effect. One client would post on Instagram or Facebook and some of their followers would reach out. They see stories about their friends post, right? They see pictures of them being tagged and all these great experiences that they want to capture all that. How's business been, man? Pretty good. Pretty good? Really good. Oh, I, mean, I know, man. Michael's weekends quickly filled with private parties, 
but even still, he made travel a priority so he could continue learning new cuisines and techniques. I'm traveling around the world and I'm acquiring a lot of knowledge. I go to Bologna, Italy, learn how to make pasta, and I fell in love with it. And I'm saying to myself, you know what? This is something I could actually do. This is something I can make a living out of. I could actually come back to the States and show people how to make pasta from scratch, bring the experience to their home. Michael still doesn't have a formal website or a booking process. The majority of his clients reach out through DM or Facebook groups. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. All righty. We're off. What I'm doing right now, you got some fresh tomatoes right here and just kind of squeezing them. Going full time proved to be lucrative for Michael, but with more parties taking place each week, soon he was being stretched too thin. He needed to bring on some help. The mangoes uh -huh. weren't really ripe here, so uh -huh. I'm just gonna get them super rich. Okay, that's fine, man. Now that Michael has extra hands, he is able to increase his catering capacity. Here we are right now in June, and I'm already booked down until November, December. You know, the weekends are all booked. It's been kind of crazy. Never thought that it would be like this at all, you know. Quick, easy sauce. That's gonna be for the pizza. Hi. Hey, hey, Hi, how? Emily. Hi, Emily, how are you nice doing? To meet you. His parties are a mix of private cooking classes followed by a meal prepared by Michael and his team. Typically, the guests can learn how to prepare the appetizer, like a homemade pizza or dumplings. In this one, you could feel free to put whatever you like. I figured, like, you know, I have a little arugula that's actually with um, a little bit of truffle oil in here, too. Then, as they enjoy the fruits of their labor, Michael cooks the rest of the meal. It's like a watercress puree, which is really, really good. Oh, my God. Oh my God. I mean, like, I, look how much meat we have, guys. I'm probably not the most cheapest chef that are out there right now, but I can assure you it's, it's Michael O. It's me. Some people hate onions and cilantro, but like when they make eat, eat chimichurri, it's totally a different ball game, you know? Michael hopes to one day expand the Chef O experience. Branching off to do any different sectors, mainly getting to the catering business, uh, hosting larger parties. And although he has found financial success, he says his biggest win was combining his passion for cooking with his love of meeting new people. Obviously food is very good in every restaurant, right? But how often is it that they allow people to come over to their house, cook for them, and build that strong relationship with them? If you don't like pizza, then something's wrong. Something's wrong. <laughs> I know, I know. Something's wrong. 